everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to another fun Friday art challenge. Before we begin with today's video, I love to unbox my two brand new coloring books I just got in the mail today. I am super excited. I wonder how they look like. So I'm going to take them out. This is a very thick envelope. <laughs> Which is good. Because that means the books will be protected. And <laughs> my scissors aren't doing anything. Okay. Alright, I got it, I got it. I'm super excited to see how my two new titles look like. Okay, got it. Alright, now I'm just gonna reach in. Oh, I can feel it so nice! Oh my god! Oh, this is so beautiful! Okay, so this is Forest of Fantasy, a tranquil coloring book. This is my large size soft cover. I'm gonna set this aside. Since some of you have been asking for larger sizes and also hard covers, I made different versions and sizes and formats of my coloring books on my Mayu bookstore for these two titles. So you can check them out. The link is in the video description. I'm gonna get my other book. Oh my god! Ah, this is so pretty! And this is my second title that I made. It's called Super Cute Food, A Delicious Coloring Adventure. Oh, they look so nice. So this, both of these are the large soft covers. Since some of you have been asking for bigger coloring books, I'm gonna put these aside for a little bit. We also have the regular sizes, which I'll always keep on making. Oh, they look so beautiful, I love it. I'm gonna put the bag aside here. It's easier to see. So, oh, I'm running out of room. Okay, so just to show you the difference, this is the large size soft cover and this is the regular soft cover. I'll always make the regulars, but for those of you who wanted the large, you can always get the large size and all of the different formats and sizes for these two titles are available right now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link is in the video description. Let me just show you these two now. They look so beautiful. I love how the covers turned out. Like the colors look just I want to eat it up. It looks so delicious. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to put this out. Look at that little cupcake. I love it. Aww. I know you're going to have so much fun coloring in these. And more information is coming up later in this video. But right now, let's get started with today's art challenge. Today, I'm going to reimagine and draw Disney princesses as fun modern girls. And this is part two of my series. In case you haven't yet, or if you want some nice nostalgia, you can see how I did this challenge in part one on this video on my Mayu channel. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first princess that is going to be modern-fied will be Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And basically, uh, you know, this challenge is for me to draw a totally new version of these princesses. The challenge is going to lie in the fact that I would want my reimaginings to still resemble the princess in some way, but it also looks like she could belong in our world right now. Like she could like the things we like, she could watch the things we like to watch, and she could, you know, like her taste and personality would reflect that of the classic princess, but in our time. Belle's one of my favorite Disney princesses uh, because she really loves reading and loves books. And I am such a huge book nerd, so I was thinking it would be really fun to make my modern reimagining of Belle kind of like a book lover. She's a little bit nerdy, but in a really cool way. I was thinking if Belle existed in our time right now, she would be a student at either a high school or 
uh, going to college or university and she'll be like this very studious person she'll be like really into books and reading learning I think you're gonna find her in the library all the time while other people are outside enjoying their lunch she's gonna be inside reading or she might be outside uh, with a book and her lunch I think that's really cool and I was thinking of drawing her kind of like as if she's going from class to class and she's like she has her big giant book she loves clutched in front of her and she's got her backpack full of books and things that she's going to read at home oh yeah I just had to get that little beast keychain in there I also think it's really cool to see a princess wearing glasses. I feel this look fits my modern belle idea so much. And she, I think she looks really cool and cute and really smart, but in a, you know, like in a nice casual way. Do you like books too? Let me know your favorite genres like YA or science fiction, fantasy or graphic novels. Or let me know which are your top three books of all time. I'm really curious. All right, and now for all those lovely yellow colors. So when I was designing her outfit, I was trying to keep a little bit of her, um, like her original dress design in mind but just like a tiny hint of it so I kind of opened the like her sweater top it has a nice big wide um, open shouldered look so it's similar to how her dress opens around her shoulder and I thought it'd be fun to give her these uh, like a, like a knitted texture in the sweater just to make it look you know a little bit more like um, familiar because I have a lot of actually I have a lot of sweaters with this kind of texture on it for my reimagining I decided to give certain parts of my design different pops of color like a little bit of oranges here or a little bit of yellow ochres there just to give this uh, like design a different feel to it If I met this modern Belle in real life, I wonder what our conversation would be like. Like, we'll probably be talking about <laughs> like what kind of books we were into for the most, or like stories. I don't know. If you met her, what do you think you would like to talk about? Or what would your conversation be like? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's always so fun to think about these things. Oh, she looks so cute. Okay, now it's time for the original Disney princess. So I'm going to take the very first princess that Disney made, Snow White, and I'm going to reimagine her uh, into a design uh, so that she can fit into our world. And I wonder how, like, how differently she can look like because, you know, like this movie came out in the 1930s. So she was designed with those sentiments and aesthetics back then. And I was thinking if she were a girl in our modern times, like how differently <laughs> would the dress be? Would her hairstyle be? Like she's almost what, like, is it like almost 90 now? Wow, it's been a long time. So I think the difference is gonna be really interesting to see. I thought it would be really fun to give my design the sense of like the sweet innocent girl who's very kind to everyone and you know she loves animals of course but at the same time she has this certain like inner strength and like a little edge to her so I thought that was an interesting like um, combination and I decided to design her hair in this way it's still kind of like short and um, curved but it has this more of a like an energy to it which I really like I kept her bow but I moved it to the side so it's kind of like a little different um, feel and then as for her clothes I thought to really go in a interesting direction it's interesting to see how different characters can be reimagined and kind of like um, rethought in different ways 
I was looking at uh, Snow White's little cute shoes and she has these little bows on them. So I thought to do something similar to my design, make the bows on the shoes, but instead of giving her the slippers uh, kind of design, I went for like ankle boots. Similar to part one of this series, I didn't want to follow the princess's outfit color schemes too strictly because I wanted to have some room for my own artistic interpretation. And for this particular Snow White outfit, I wanted to go on the darker side a bit for the color palette. I wanted to keep the major colors kind of like inside my outfit design, but also I wanted to add some other things, which I'm not used to seeing Snow White in. So that creates this, you know, like this refreshing look to uh, this new Snow White design. Her style is similar to the original girls I designed in my Gothic Cuties coloring book. I'm really glad that many of you own this book and my other coloring books and that you're having a lot of fun making these images your own. I'm so inspired by all of you who posted your creations on Instagram with the hashtag MayYouArt. Your coloring styles and choices are all so uniquely your own. Like I can now start to tell whose creations are from which fans just by how you color and shade. That's great because you're your own artistic style and you've developed that and you know, it's memorable. I'm also glad to know that some of you mentioned that you bought my different coloring books for not only yourself, but for your siblings, your parents, grandparents, spouses, girlfriends, and boyfriends. You know, we have such a great community and I am so proud of all of you. Keep up the great work and I'll share some more of your creations in a future video. Looks like she traded one apple for another. Okay, here is the third princess and she is Raya from the new movie. I'm gonna reimagine Raya as if she were a young woman in our times right now. And I really like how so far in my um, different reimaginings of the modern princesses, you can kind of tell like each girl has her own kind of personality or her own like outfit style. You can kind of guess what kind of lifestyle she leads just by looking at you know, how she's dressed and how she puts her hair together and all that. So I think it's really interesting to see these things from uh, just from like a design. And then for my Raya character, I wanted to portray her as a young, strong woman, but in a very different way from what I've done so far in this video. I thought about giving her a cool short like cropped jacket. It kind of gives me the sense of a lot of energy and because she is very like action oriented, she knows how to fight. She's, you know, like she's this really strong, um, physically capable character. I was thinking of giving her this outfit that shows me a sense of energy and um, strength. And of course, I'm going to make her look quite sporty so she's gonna look a little different from all the other modern princesses I've done. I think it's so interesting to see a princess design where she is wearing sweatpants. I just love that. I'm not used to this. I like I'm not used to seeing this at all, so I think it's really like new and it's just different. Uh, I designed the sweatpants to have a little bit of a like a bagginess on top and then it kind of tapers down into the knee. I like how cropped it is because I feel uh, like when she's like working out, if she's like a modern girl, she could be working out or she she could be taking or teaching uh, like martial arts or she could be doing parkour. I was thinking the clothes should not impede her movement so much. So that's why I gave her like the rolled up sleeves and the cropped 
、uh, sweatpants, the short jacket. It's all about the movement and freeing her to be able to move like without much restriction. I think it's also awesome that Disney is doing other different、uh, ethnicities for their、uh, characters and Disney princesses. When I was deciding on the color scheme of her outfit, I really wanted to get that nice red in her like shoulder area because she has that cape. Uh, but in my modern reimagining, because she doesn't have an extra layer on top, I was thinking of getting the red into the sleeves of the jacket, and then for the like the front part of the jacket, I would just make it kind of like the brown that she has underneath, and then she has that top, which is kind of like the yellowy、uh, brown color. So I thought that was a nice like parallel. And then as for the pants, I just made it this nice rich. Um, green, brown color, and I think it looks it looks very familiar to me, but also quite different. I like the little dragon design I gave her for her jacket. Originally, I was thinking of giving her just pure white sneakers, but I was thinking I would like to have more colors in the shoes. That reminds me of her design, so I went instead with the brown and then the like the pink trim. I know it's not a usual like color scheme for shoes or sneakers, but I think in a in its own special way, it does look interesting and unique. And I think overall, it creates more of an earthy like color scheme for the design, which I really like. And since I reimagined Elsa as a modern girl in part one of the series, I needed to do her sister. So I am going to reimagine Anna in this video, and I'm going to take Anna's、uh, outfit from the second movie into consideration. And I was thinking about Anna's warm, cheerful personality, and how she has this—you know, like she's so bubbly and so friendly. So I wanted to get that across in my design somehow, like in her pose, in her like outfit. I was even thinking I should go a little bit further in my own artistic、um, like creativity and draw something that I'm not usually familiar with when it comes to like Anna's style, and I'm going to put that in there. I think it's going to be like a nice. Interesting personal touch from my artwork. I love the style of the off shoulder or like the open shoulder top that she has. It's really just nice and flowy, and the sleeves and like the the edge of it just kind of flows out. So it gives me this really warm, flowy, natural. Like a light sense of this character, which I think it really fits in my art. I also like that little necklace of Olaf. I think it's very cute.、Um, and as for the hat, so I was thinking about it's really interesting、uh, if I could put、uh, like a design element in my artwork that I'm not so familiar with when I think about Anna, but in this modern take, I think she could be like this. You know, friendly girl who dresses up like this to go out. Maybe she's on,、um, I don't know, like on a daily errand, or she's going to visit her sister or something. And she's just this. She just looks so carefree and so light and friendly. And you know, that's the feeling that I was trying to get at for this artwork. Hmm. I think that's a snack that Elsa made her. My eighth and ninth coloring books are out now. They're called Forest of Fantasy, Tranquil Coloring Book, and Super Cute Food: A Delicious Coloring Adventure. Both titles are available in three different sizes and formats: the regular soft cover, the large soft cover, and the large hard cover. 
I'll always be doing the regular soft cover size for my future coloring books, but since some of you have been asking for larger sizes and hardcovers, I've also made those additions for both of these new titles. The large sizes will give you more room and space to color each image. The large hardcovers will also give you that added protection of the hardcovers. Each book is specially made to order. On the May Bookstore, the large softcover and hardcovers are in their own series. That's right under the regular size coloring books, so it's really easy for you to find exactly what type of coloring book you want. Here's a quick sneak peek of each new coloring book. Forest of Fantasy is filled with my original designs of tranquil, beautiful, woodland-inspired maidens, women, forest animals, fantasy creatures, and nature scenes. These designs range from simpler images to more intricate, detailed artwork. It's great for casual colorists, aspiring artists, and those with more experience. Relax and de-stress with these serene, enchanting images and let your imagination run free. Super Cute Food is a continuation of my Super Cute Animals and it's filled with tasty, delicious, super adorable food characters and yummy settings. There are sweet candies, treats, desserts, refreshing drinks, and other cute, mouth-watering yummies. Like super cute animals, these food designs are on the simpler side, and this is great for those who are beginners, or those who don't want to color too many like intricate details, or those who like to color quickly to create a finished piece. It's also great for those who like collecting cute kawaii things. For both new titles, each coloring book has two sets of 25 beautiful designs, it's double the fun because you've got an extra copy of each of my 25 unique images, making a total of 50 awesome coloring pages in each coloring book. With a duplicate of each page, you can now experiment with different color schemes like light versus dark colors. Or you can also try other art mediums or do challenges like markers versus gel pins of the same image. Try a blind pick with one and then, you know, something really different for the other one. You can also get a friend or family member to color with you or that special someone. Relax together or challenge each other. It's also nice to have a backup in case of mistakes, as there are always chances of making mistakes as an artist. <laughs> but now there are, you know, there's no pressure to get it right the first time. You just sit back, just color and relax. Like my other coloring books, you can use a wide variety of markers, gel pens, colored pencils and crayons. Own or gift these lovely coloring adventures for yourself or a loved one. It's on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link is in the video description. Happy coloring! I love working with this color palette that I got inspired from her outfit with the warm like magentas and then the plums, the purples, and then the different uh, pops of golds and blacks. I think it looks super nice and I just love how the colors blend together. It gives me this really warm feeling. Which princess resembles you or your personal style the most? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see part 3 of my modern Disney princesses, hit that like button and comment down below who else should I include next time. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy the rest of today and I will see you next fun Friday. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another exciting fun Friday video planned. Till next time.